Okay, so the first um, song I'm going to do is Portsmouth Reflections. And what I had trouble with the most, from what I could tell on the recording, was that at measure 78, I got a little off tempo. I got kind of slow, but then I got back on tempo. So I'm going to play through measure um, 75 to 80, so I can just kind of go through and make sure I stay on tempo. And then also I have, I did an incorrect rhythm at... 109 through 111, so just those three measures. It's the one that's like one, four, five, one, three, four, all those different beats. So I'm gonna um, count through that and play that as well for Portsmouth. And also, it has been a continuous struggle of mine to remember that along with playing the snare drum on Portsmouth Reflections, I also play the hi hat. So to remember, I wrote out hi hat on my part. Um, next to where it was already written and circled. Yes, I know, I have a bad memory. It's, it's even written on my part, but I rewrote I hat, bolder, and highlighted it. That way at UIL, I won't forget. I didn't forget it at pre UIL, but um, I don't want to forget it at UIL, so I'm going to do this and it's going to help me remember. Okay, so this is measure 71 through um, 82. So I'm just, instead of playing 75 to 80, I'll just play that whole phrase, 71 to 82. Okay, so that's that section, and I stayed on tempo um, better than I did um, in the performance, so that's good. Second thing I'm going to work on is um, measures 109 through 111 and 112 uh, as well. Um, I just completely um, improvised on those four measures um, during pre-UIL because um, I wasn't really sure how to play it, but now I think I got it. So it's like... One, four, five, one, three, four, six, one. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, six, one. Okay, so here it goes. Try that one more time. Alright, so that's it for Portsmouth. Okay, so Kenya, um, there was a couple more things I um, didn't do uh, at pre-UIL. I didn't crescendo at measure 24. I just kind of um, started like at forte and ended a little bit above forte. So I needed to work on really getting um, down to piano at measure um, 10 and then um, crescendoing at measure 24. So I didn't crescendo at measure 24. Um, I turned the snare on too loud. I've been practicing on my snare that I have. Um, trying to figure out different ways to turn it on without it being so loud. Pretty much just have to do it slower and and um, and then it won't be as loud. Also, I could put my hand on the head of the snare and it doesn't um, vibrate as much. So it doesn't make that same noise. And also, um, on the last measure, I need to start at piano and crescendo to forte. So um, I didn't do that either. I just kind of played it all at one level. So I'm going to go back and fix those spots as well. Okay, so here is measures 21 to 24, so I can get the crescendo. So right now I'm playing at piano, crescendoing. Okay, that was it. I'll try it one more time. Also, as it gets higher, um, my notes sometimes will get a little like sounding like this, like kind of swung. 
So I need to make sure I keep them straight forward. So I'm going to try that one more time. On the second to last measure, I need to start at piano and then get louder. I started kind of at like um, a normal like forte kind of level and you start at piano. So here's that. This will be right on um, the second last measure. So rest bump 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 like that. Okay, so here's two measures before I flip on the snare. So it's much quieter. <laughs> 